Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We are on the second floor of the museum and we are in our contemporary gallery. This exhibition contains the work of four Long Island artists. It's titled Vernacular Visions and the term vernacular kind of means everyday experiences. To my right we have the work of Richard Gashow who actually lives here on Long Island um, and he came from a career in advertisement and later in his life as an artist he started picking up everyday objects. And it's interesting when you think there's lots of artists that have actually used kind of the ready-made, finding objects and kind of repurposing them for artistic purposes. And he does that to great joy. Nothing gets past him. He sees potential in every object like a cheese grater or just a piece of metal or a wheel. So everything becomes these kind of whimsical, uh, charming uh, figures or robots or animals. Um, in his hands. To my left I, we have the work of Burt Young and some people know Burt Young by his acting career. Um, he had very famously known in the uh, Rocky movie with Sylvester Stallone as his trainer. But he's been painting for many years and um, he actually lives again on Long Island. His paintings capture his everyday experiences. They're very kind of expressive very kind of simple in form and color, uh, very textured, and they're very kind of whimsical, similar to Richard Gasho in a sense, but they contain images of dogs and people that he knows, and just kind of whatever comes to him in his daily life, he captures on a canvas for us to enjoy. On the wall behind me, we have the work of Francisco Villagran. He, again, is a Long Island artist, and he's actually born in Mexico but resides here. And he uses a very unusual um, mode of art making. He's actually using ties, uh, ties that people actually wear. And he collages and decoupages different image, imagery. Um, he actually refers to himself as a Latin pop artist. So it's kind of exciting for us uh, thinking about the pop artworks that we have down on the first floor in our Out of the Alt exhibition. So that kind of sensibility of uh, what's in your world every day kind of comes into his work. He has images of Hispanic actors and artists, um, as well as other people that inspire his work, like Andy Warhol, um, Leo Castelli, the gallery owner. And they're very w interesting in the grouping because you start to look at them and you need to get close to them to really kind of know, uh, to observe all the fine details and also to try to figure out who are the people that are living on these ties. They make a very wonderful kind of collection together. So we enjoy, enjoy having this almost three-dimensional work um, in contrast to some of the two-dimensional work in the gallery. Susan Cushing's um, paintings capture kind of the, a beautiful summer day when people are out having fun, enjoying themselves, picnicking, playing games, and just when people are kind of relaxed in the summer without a care. They're just very lovely. She's really about kind of capturing this joy of life in her paintings. Contemporary Gallery is always a wonderful kind of adventurous place for our visitors to come. They'll come to see our permanent, um, they'll come to see a kind of larger main exhibitions, but most of our visitors make a, uh, a journey up to the second floor to make sure that they can jump into the Contemporary Gallery because it's always something very new and unusual. Mm -hmm.